Hello everyone and welcome back to the Catholic Gamer Dude Plays Kerbal Space Program. I have come to an executive decision. We're starting over. The reason why is because if you haven't been paying attention in the last few episodes, well actually almost every episode, I've killed at least one Kerbal. And I've done some reading ahead of time and it turns out that hiring Kerbals to kind of replace your ranks of dead people gets prohibitively more expensive as time goes on. So instead of trying to face a battle that we probably won't win just because I'm going to kill more Kerbals. That's just going to happen. <laughs> so I decided that we're going to go back to normal and the reason why is, is because when you lose somebody on normal then uh, after a couple of hours they come back. So I think that would just make things smoother. So we're going to call this um, LP Campaign 2. And we're just gonna check this. So missing crews respawn. Um, and we'll just go ahead and uh, indestructible facilities, include stock vessels. You know, and that's just, we'll just set it back down to normal and just uh, eat our humble pie. And we'll just move on with that. And, because, and I just want to be able to do it that way so that uh, we don't interrupt the series any more than it has. We're only about a couple of hours into the campaign. So, I just think it'd be the best decision for the LP. So let's just go ahead and do that. And let's start over. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Uh, the other thing I was going to do is I'm going to focus on primarily on these space missions. Because that's ultimately the goal of some of this stuff. I think these are the ones that actually advance you further and everything else is just kind of fluff to either help you out to get more experience or to help you design rockets or stuff like that so that's what we're going to do um so let's just go ahead and do that so our very first thing is get the scientific data from Kerbin. the other thing i learned is that you have to read the objectives closely uh because i was struggling with a few of the contracts and it actually says what you're supposed to do I'll turn this down just a little bit uh, it actually tells you exactly what you're supposed to do more or less so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, stick with that then launch our first vessel let's go back and cover transmit any science science experiment data from carbon to achieve this goal all right we'll go ahead and try this first and there are a couple of other things that I wanted to try as well because I was doing some some of my own reading yeah we got it go ahead and do this and then there are a few things that <clears throat> we really haven't been doing actually go ahead and uh, let me see I'm gonna go in here so there are some things that we can do like this which we already knew about uh, that fulfills the fill our contract recover any transmit experiment data from curb to achieve the goal okay Go to EVA, and then that what we can do here is we can actually just get out, and then, as you can see, with our boy here, Jebediah, he can take an EVA report. I don't think a spacesuit was entirely necessary <laughs> to get here, was it? No, no, it was not. So you take that, and I could have taken some Mr. Goo as well, <clears throat> but I completely forgot. So we'll grab on. Then we'll board, and then we'll recover a vessel. Easy peasy. So we got five science from that, and fulfilled a contract. And that's what I realized, that's something that we should be focusing on, is just getting the stuff that we need to get into space. That will speed things up, and ultimately that will be the, um, <clears throat> uh, that's really just the objective. So escape... The atmosphere, orbit, carbon, all of these things are the things that we're going to focus on for this. So, let's see here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, research and development, astronaut complex, tracking, station. Let's see, can we, have we earned any science yet? Yes, we have. So what we're going to do is... 
Let's go ahead and do this research because we'll want to do more of the sciency type stuff. Yeah, and we don't spend the money on the parts anymore because that was the difference between normal and hormone. I thought that was kind of silly, but whatever. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go launch our first vessel. Make this just a little bit more interesting. But we're also going to zoom out just a little bit. We're also going to uh, put some more science on here. So, go to coupling. Uh, the racket on here. We'll go through all of the stages just to remind ourselves how to do this. Boost, decouple, parachute. And then for the science, the Mr. Goo on there. And then we'll take a temperature. Is there something else I also wanted to try out? So, first, launch MK1. And the reason why is because there are a couple of things to try out. We really weren't doing a lot of science in the uh, last playthrough. And that's something we really want to focus on. All right. So, before we launch anything, uh, let's see, Goo doesn't seem to be doing very much right now, so we'll grab that, take the temperature reading, Topo <laughs> readings are quite literally normal, and then EVA out of that, and then we'll space, oh, ow, <laughs> poor Jebediah, but um, let's see here, um, I don't remember what the key keys for this are. That's space. Oh, he jumped. Okay. And this is the problem that I remember is that I couldn't quite figure out how the keys. Oh, I see. Uh oh. He may be trapped. Maybe we can't get back in. All right, we're just going to recover the vessel. <laughs> Evalue. You need one XP for that? Seriously? All right. We will recover this. We'll go back in. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> okay, launch. I really don't know what I'm doing in case you haven't noticed, but that's also why I, I lower the difficulty down to normal. It's because it's just safer that way for everybody involved, especially for my Kerbals. All right, let's go ahead and launch our first vessel as stipulated in our uh, records. Ready? Three. Let's make sure staging one more time. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Probably should have put some fins on this thing. All right. And, woo! And we are pointed straight down. Probably because of the wind resistance. There we go, get back up to normal. Okay. There we go. And then, just launch the parachute just because I don't want anybody else being injured or otherwise missing, we will take uh, temperatures at this atmosphere. Log the temperature, collect the temperature, flying over Kerbin shores, observe the mystery goo. The goo jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies, and that's pretty much it. We'll take a crew report as well. There you go. All kinds of good science-y type stuff. And we'll just wait for splashdown. Something over there in the corner? Probably. But that's alright. 
and we'll just come on down and call it a day. Just wait on, wait on. Good stuff. All right. Anything else that we should be doing? Took a crew report. I think that's it. Go ahead and recover vessel. Crew report we're flying over Kerbin Shores. We'll flying at Kerbin. Temperature scan. Recovery of vessel to survive flight. All good stuff. 16.9 science. Excellent. Parts. Jebediah gained no XP for that one, but we earned quite a bit of cash. Interesting. Wonder where we got all the cash influx from. Anyways. Next one. Now, as you know, so we see here that we have all kinds of uh, focus surveys and things like that. We'll come back to some of those, but our, our, our basic um, efforts will be focused on Escaping the atmosphere. Is there anything that we can do? Just a haul. Solid field booster into flight above Kerbin. We could do this one. Because the other thing we're going to look at is to see what we could do to um, mm -hmm. test. Objective. Test a stack decoupler complete. We want you to test it. Landed and complete. All right, so basically this was the one that we stumbled upon before. What I'm going to do is I looked on YouTube to see how we could test the stack decoupler on Kerbin. And I think this is basically how we do it. So take off the parachute as well. So the only thing that's actually on here is the decoupler. So we'll launch that and see if we can make uh, this happen. Okay, so this is what I saw. Okay, they got the contract on here. It's right there. And literally, that's it. <laughs> Can you believe that? Uh, but we fulfilled an easy money contract. That was the thing that was the, so, the issue. So the only thing I could think of is that what we screwed up before was it was very difficult. We... we we're so focused on trying to run a test or something rather than actually stage it. So we're going to go back. Our active contract is escape the atmosphere, and that's what we're going to do. So the first thing we need to do is go to research and development and get ourselves some advanced rocketry. And so we got solid fuel boosters, liquid swivel engine, and a tiny fuel tank. We are going to grab all of that good stuff. General rocketry, how much science do we have? 34, stability, utility. Uh, pressure barometer, micro landing strut, and the service bay. Um, let's see. I think we want all of this. So we'll go ahead and grab that. And then we can get, we can't get the advanced rocketry. Uh, but that's okay because a lot, the, some of that stuff is huge. And we really don't need that to, to leave the atmosphere. So we're going to go ahead and build ourselves our first uh, rocket that's going to get us out of the atmosphere. That'll be our main milestone for today. So first things first, once again, get the... Temperature. And let's see. Our contract stipulates that we want to get flying to vessels in altitude of 70,000 meters to achieve the goal. We'll put on. We're going to get all the science for this one. So put the mystery goo on. Got temperature, got barometer pressure, uh, air pressure, readings. And that should be pretty much it. <clears throat> now for this one, we want to do a full-fledged rocket. So this is going to be our... Uh, so we're going to do this as if... It, it's going to do this like for reals. So let's see here. 
Because that's a service bay. And we want a service bay for protecting delicate instruments or stowing small service components such as our CS tank batteries, etc. Uh Do we want to try and haul a service bay up? Uh, let's live a little bit more dangerously because that's the whole reason why we stopped uh, the, the whole reason why we uh, changed our difficulty is so that we could actually experiment a little bit more so go ahead and put that on service bay I think will give us some more science so that that yeah, the decoupler we want some fuel tanks and so we will grab a couple of those. I'm not sure exactly how much we're going to need. I have a feeling I may be over-preparing a bit, but that's okay. Alright, so that's our second stage. And so... <clears throat> we're going to detect a couple of that, and then we are going to use the solid fuel booster. <clears throat> And I think it's gonna be Atmo Atmo Flight Mark One. And we've done all this already, so we don't really need to experiment with some of this stuff. But I'm just racing through the initial missions that we were doing before, just so that we don't have to. Uh, hmm. Actually, what I want to do is. I want to design this a little bit more. We actually do want to revert flight to the vehicle assembly bay. And that's because I totally forgot to put on aerodynamics. So we don't spin out as we fly through the air. And that's it. And I think this will be the, uh, basically the, the rocket for the end of this. I don't even know if I need these, but it'd be better. Uh, no, actually the second stage probably. First stage, definitely, though. All right. The reason why is because you got to punch through the atmosphere of the first stage more than the second stage. Let's go ahead and do this. Turn ACS on. Jebediah, are you good to go? Yeah, uh, sort of. Not really trusting about mission control guy. All right, let's move it. Three. Wait, staging. Always check the staging. Good. Three, two, one. Go. So far, so good. We did just get off the ground, though, so it's not, we're not really uh, ready to be all pleased with ourselves just yet. So we're going a little fast. So we'll ditch this stage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is a problem. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. All right, we got ourselves stabilized out. That was not the most effective. But let's see if we can still do this. We will not. All right just as well still I think we can grab some science up here preserve the mystery goo it seems to be getting very cold now temperature reading log recorded upper atmosphere barometer pressure log pressure display collect the data atmosphere pressure good stuff How about a crew report Jebediah good stuff all right so we're gonna ditch our stage two but the service bay. Can we do that? Uh, oh, I guess it just has some stuff in here. We're going to close that up. Hopefully, um, that service bay won't make it so heavy that we kill off Jebediah. But we'll see. Might want to increase the 2,000 just so that you have more time to slow down because we're going to come in pretty fast. Uh, 
All right. We'll also be able to take one more EVA report because we'll be landing on some grasslands here. So that'll be good. We get plenty of science for this stuff, which is what matters at the end of the day. <clears throat> and then we just fall gracefully back to Earth. By gracefully, I mean hopefully we don't die. And, but overall, I think this has been a bit more successful, and I just feel better because after the first couple of missions, my I was really feeling bad about the fact that we just kept seeing to kill people. Um, now they'll respawn after a couple of hours, so I can afford to be just a little bit more um, experimental. And honestly, the real truth is that I just do not know what I'm doing. <clears throat> And that is going to make some problems, especially when we start going to the more complicated missions and the odds of us flying off into space being that just more, uh, I think that was our second booster just falling to the ground. All right, so it looks like our parachute is going to weigh us. Not that it matters because this is just a service bay and not, um, have any actual parts to it, I think. Meanwhile, Jebediah, Jebediah, he's just like, just feeling it. Wait till we get down. May have been a bit over aggressive with that, but I wanted to be sure we had enough uh, height for the parachute to open so that, uh, because I wasn't sure what the service bay was going to do. We're going to land soon. Then we'll get out and do an EVA. There we go. Base, let go. Oof. Okay. So get that stuff. Get our EVA report from Kerbin's Grasslands, and we are done. Got 24 science for that one. That's awesome. No, we got 2.4 science. Uh, from Kerbin's Grasslands. Survived a flight. Total reputation 32. Where's the vessel recovery? There it is. Cover vessel. There's where all of our science is, because all, all the reports and science things. Okay. Cool. Plenty of funds. Let's go ahead and uh, try that again. Oh, actually, first, see if we get ourselves a better... Uh, <clears throat> get ourselves a better rocketeer. So what, was, what were we using before? LT-45 swivel engine. This is going to have a lot more thrust to it. And then the solid fuel booster. I don't really know if we actually need all of that just yet. Uh, of course, we could try not spinning out like a maniac like we did last time. Dynamic cones, radial decoupler. I think we're good on that stuff. Um, let's see. I'll try one more time with this rocketry. The only difference is, is that this time we're going to um, put a bit more fuel on those fuel tanks and then add some aerodynamics to it. I just want to see if we can pull this off. All right, so we'll go ahead and do that, and then we will add some more wings onto this. Just so that we have some aerodynamics on here. And then we will take the service bay off because that's pointless. And then let's see, is there anything else that we can put on here? And nope. What is this? Landing. 
Landing strut. Okay, interesting. Communications. Do we need communication? No, we're at, we'll be falling back to Kerbin, so we won't need to uh, transmit anything. The, the radio stuff is for transmitting science, just in case you want to do the transmitting. Uh, instead of having to wait to go to come back, you lose some of the science for it, but the scientific value for it, but at least, you know, you get some of the science out, especially if you think that your pod isn't going to make it or something like that. Or if you have extra science components that are attached to other things that probably won't make it back to curve. And anyway, it doesn't matter because we don't have any of that. All right, let's do this. SAS on. Three. Two, one, go. And once again, first stage is actually going pretty well. We're going a little faster than we'd like, but that's all right. Touch. much smoother flight this time which is good having said that I do not know if we'll actually be able to get up but we are increasing our velocity still 30 40 pull up just a little bit because height is more important to us for the purposes of the contract I think we'll make this one There we go. It helps when you don't spin out and fly back toward Kerbin with a full tank of gas. If you actually point yourself in the right direction, you'd actually uh, succeed. I mean, who knew, right? Baromic pressure. Uh, don't need any of that because there's no atmospheric pressure. Mystery goo. Goo seems to be very getting cold now. Temperature reading. Log temperature. Uh, I guess we've done this, these already. Let's reset these. Reset the goo container. And then we'll grab a... There we go. Instrument read zero, as if we're in a vacuum. Oh my. Alright, escape the atmosphere. Take a temperature reading. Discovery of science. Let's go ahead and ditch our stage. Mr. Goo. Goo appears to have clumped into a sphere. It also appears to have become brittle. All right. Crew report. Very much in space right now, sir. Sky seems to be mostly below us. Yeah, one would think that. All right. So we went up a bit higher <laughs> than we needed to. Um, like I said, it's amazing what happens when you actually, uh, do it correctly. We're going to go ahead and just warp real quick. Our trajectory is going to come more or less, uh, down. That is our direction, down. That's the scientific term for it. We're just basically going to, uh, splash back down onto Kerbin. Taking all the survey stuff that we need. I think we're good. Coming back in. Hopefully none of our instruments burn up along the way. I think we'll be alright. Sorry, things are already starting to cool down a little bit. Because our uh, surface speed is slowing down. All right, good stuff. That was the only thing I was concerned about was actually getting the uh, temperature data and everything. So, go ahead and deploy at 5,000. There we 
go. And then we will just ride it out. I also undo the warp time, because there, because there is a bug where if you go too fast, the physics engine thinks you're actually going super fast, and in reality you're not. Um, but because it is, if you like super warp really fast, in, in a delicate situation like this, every once in a while the game freaks out and thinks you're approaching at a really high velocity, and then the parachute doesn't open, so the drag doesn't kick in, and then you just slam into the ground. So, but now that we're at this point, we can just more or less safely go ahead and warp forward. And that will be it for this episode. Splashdown. Do we already have a crew report? Yes, we do. Okay. Oops, oops. Stop. Stop fast forwarding. Recover vessel. Good stuff. All right, so we basically where we were before. We earned 43 science for that. Recovery vessel after a suborbital flight, eight science. Atmospheric pressure, mystery goo, all that good science stuff. We got most of our parts. Uh, we got nah, not most of our parts back, but the more important thing is, Jebediah did not get a XP for that suborbital flight. Uh, because we already did that. Right, 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 right. Okay. Point is, we got a metric ton of science, and we got more funds. And I just feel better because I haven't killed anybody yet. I'm sure we'll do that as we move forward in this, but for right now. Let's just bask in our glory. All right. I'm that Catholic Gamer dude. Thank you very much for joining me. It's been Kerbal Space Program. And if you like what you saw, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe. Until then, I'll see you next time.